بيكم اعزائنا المشاهدين في حلقه جديده من برنامجكم علاجك في بيتك ونحب نرحب بدكتور جويس معانا هنا في الاستوديو اهلا وسهلا بيكي آه النهارده حابه تكلمينا عن آه ضغط التدفئه ايه هو ضغط التدفئه ده؟ It's a mild treatment you start with a cold cloth around whatever body part you're trying to to treat and you cover it with a, just any cloth that will keep the air out You make sure that there's no air that's going to get in. You leave it on overnight and uh, your body will heat it up. And that's why we call it a heating compress. Oh, دي أحلى حاجة في الموضوع. الموضوع ما فيهوش تكلفة ما فيهوش تفاصيل كتير ودي أحلى حاجة بنحبها في البرنامج إنه بنتعلم من حاجات طبيعية. طيب خلينا نعرف أكتر عن الموضوع بأسئلة كتير. حابين نعرف إزاي بنستخدمها الحاجات دي وليه بنستخدمها كمان. Okay, because we call it a heating compress, mm -hmm. so what we want is the body to heat it up. And the funny question is, okay, you're starting with cold, but you want it hot. It's because when we put cold in a part, our body mm -hmm. tries very hard to warm it up right away. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it brings all the blood there, the vessels dilate, and it warms not only the cloth up, but that body part. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. You want the mm -hmm. circulation there. and you want it to bring healing to, to that part. Uh, it can also relieve congestion in the, the areas under that body part. For instance, if we have it in the chest, it can relieve chest congestion. Mm -hmm. If we have it in the throat and the throat is sore, it can help relieve the congestion in the throat so the throat's not swollen anymore. So mm -hmm. it not only brings blood to the area, but it also relieves congestion under, in the body part under that mm -hmm. uh, Um, compress. تمام. طب بيفيد في أي أمراض النوع ده؟ Let's talk about the throat. We'll we'll start up and we'll work down to yeah. the feet. True. Even a cold or a sore throat, it's very uh, efficacious to use a heating compress on the throat. Mm -hmm. Again, we we use the the cold cloth first, and then we wrap it with um, a cloth that doesn't let any air in. And mm -hmm. not too tight. We don't yeah. want to strangle anybody. <laughs> But it, uh, in a few minutes, it should start heating up. Now, if a person is elderly or uh, has a, a problem with circulation and mm -hmm. they're still feeling cold after a few minutes, you can change mm -hmm. that out for a dry cloth, and it will get similar results. Not as profound, but uh, it will it will help the area mm -hmm. anyway. So, tonsillitis, <coughs> pharyngitis. Laryngitis, mm -hmm. anything with the throat, um, even an earache, um, the throat uh, heating compress is, is very good. Mm -hmm. So let's move to the joints. Yeah. That could be shoulder, elbows, knees, ankles, any joint. Mm -hmm. You can use the same method. Just wrap it with the cold and then wrap it with another cloth around it. Mm -hmm. um, arthritis is a, a good reason to do that. Or even if a person has uh, a flu and they have joint pain, these can actually help mm -hmm. relieve joint pain in the area. Rheumatic fever, mm -hmm. it's also an indication for it. So those are the joints. The chest, we mentioned that briefly. but. Any bronchitis, uh, coughing, pneumonia, croup, mm. whooping cough that children get, uh, even asthma. Remember, it helps congestion. So all of those things have congestion. And when you use the heating compress, it brings all the blood to the surface and it relieves the congestion under, under the heating compress. Mm. And the abdomen. So many people have problems with constipation or inflammation of their bowels, small and large, hepatitis, and uh, especially acute hepatitis. People who can't sleep, this is a mm -hmm. good way to help them relax. Colic for babies, uh, pregnancy. Uh, sometimes people are nauseated and it's not too hot. Remember, it's on the surface. It's not going to affect mm -hmm. the baby. Mm -hmm. um, but it can help with the nausea for a pregnant lady and many nervous conditions as well using the heating compress on the abdomen. And then the feet, okay. Yeah. <laughs> feet are amazing. They uh, draw from everywhere. So mm -hmm. if you heat the feet, it can help a headache. 
it can help congestion in your in your nose it mm -hmm. can um, nosebleeds too mm -hmm. it will help because again it's drawing blood away from that area uh, even the chest or pelvic congestion if the feet are warm it, it removes uh, the congestion in those areas any mm -hmm. pelvic disorder like cramps or even prostate mm -hmm. problems those also um, diminish with uh, with uh, the, the heating compress on the feet ممتاز يعني ممكن من خلال الرجلين نروح للاماكن اللي ممكن صعب ان احنا نحط لها مباشره اي بخار او تدليك او تدفئه بالميه البارده وده يعني حاجه هتساعد كتير remember the same basic indications only you don't need as much equipment it's not as complicated it's yeah. much much easier احنا نشكر ربنا انه عندنا خريطه للجسم كله في الرجلين او القدمين نقدر نستخدم الخريطه دي بان احنا نتعالج او نتحكم في اجزاء مختلفه من الجسم من خلال بس الرجلين ودي حاجه سهله كمان and you know a lot of people go to bed with cold feet so this will really help اكيد اكيد <laughs> help them warm up so they can sleep better طيب عايزين نعرف ايه الموانع اللي ممكن نقلق منها او تحذيرات من حضرتك ممكن نخاف نعملها مع النوع ده من العلاجات. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have a person who's frail or very thin mm. or doesn't seem to have the uh, energy to heat up a compress, a cold mm. compress, then you, you check it out. And if mm -hmm. after a few minutes it's not warming up, then you, you take the cold off and you put just a, a dry cloth mm -hmm. and then cover that as well. And it will give a similar result. Mm -hmm. um, and just a warning not to make it too tight when you're doing the throat. <laughs> 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 we don't want to cut off any circulation there. <laughs> it is, and it doesn't require much. And most mm -hmm. people have things uh, around the house that they can use. Mm -hmm. So we need a bowl for the cold water or mm -hmm. access to cold water. And I like to have a little bit of ice in there to make sure it's really cold. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you have elderly people and you don't want to use the cold, cold water, mm -hmm. you can uh, take the ice out. Uh -huh. You know, let it melt yeah. a little bit, get it cold, take the ice out, and then that would be a milder cold. Mm -hmm. So you could do that. Um, the inner cloth then needs to be completely wrapped around the body part that you're using. For instance, the joint needs to go all the way around the joint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, for the chest, it's good to have it all the way around the chest, and we'll tell you how to do that. Same with the abdomen. Mm -hmm. And um, the inner cloth, I like to have it thin. Mm -hmm. Some thin cotton cloth that will dry easily. If it's too thick, yeah. it'll stay wet Thought, longer yeah, and then that person can get cold. So that's why we want that thin. Mm -hmm. On the outside, it can be as thick as you want it. Uh, today we're using something that's not that thick, but it's completely wool. And that means the, the fabric uh, mm -hmm. is very tight. Mm -hmm. And so it's not going to let air in, and that's the main thing you want mm -hmm. to, to watch for. Um, so, like many of our other treatments that are going to use cold application, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that the, warm, the room is warm, mm -hmm. no drafts, closed mm -hmm. doors and windows, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that the person is warm. Okay. So I need to ask you, are you warm? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And, yeah. and we're fortunate to have you for our model today. So we also have to explain that the treatment is going to start with cold, but then mm -hmm. it will warm rapidly. Mm -hmm. So we need to assure the person of that, but not shock them that, oh, I didn't know it was going to be cold. Yeah. So we need to no. make sure we explain that very well. So then we need to assemble all of our equipment like we talked about for the throat. We're using a, a thin piece of toweling that fits around your throat. It should mm -hmm. fit all the way around the body part that we're treating. And then we have another piece of cloth. It's actually wool. And it's a little larger, a little longer, a little mm -hmm. wider, so that around uh, your neck, it won't mm -hmm. let any air in. Mm -hmm. And then we have okay. some tape to secure it. You can use pins if they're safety pins. Mm -hmm but some way to secure it so it stays secure. Okay. And we'll talk about the other things because we want to get you started here. 
So uh, let's go ahead and pray Please. like we always do. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start the treatment and then we can explain more about the physiological effects and other ways that we can do it for other body parts. Mm -hmm. So dear gracious God, we thank you again that you've given us such simple methods to relieve pain, relieve congestion, to bring new blood to area for healing. And today we ask for your special blessing on Naveen as she receives this treatment. Also bless me as I give her this treatment to be a blessing to her and to our viewing audience to help them know in a very simple way how they can help themselves and others to recover from many illnesses. These things we ask in your holy name, amen. amen. So the first thing I'm going to do then is take this piece of cloth and dip it into cold water. Now this happens mm -hmm. to have ice in it. Mm -hmm. If uh, the person is more elderly and more frail, uh, you might want the ice out mm -hmm. and just have it cool but but yet not ice cold mm -hmm. so I'm going to dip it make sure it's nice and wet now another thing you want to remember is not to let it be dripping mm -hmm. you want to actually make sure it's all wet by the way you want to wring it out so that's not dripping but yet it has the cold so as soon as I get it I'm going to want to put it around your neck and get ready mm -hmm. Okay, oh. this goes all the way around her neck. I have plenty of, of room to wrap it all the way around. Now, how's the, does it feel snug? Oh, it's cold. Yes, but does it feel like it's, mm, it's okay. needs to be tighter? That's no, fine. that's pretty good. Okay, now this piece of wool we'll bring around as well. Now this needs to be snugger. Mm -hmm. I can see that it's got, because we don't want any air to come through. I don't want to mess up her hair. This is part of my issue here. Okay, let's put a piece of tape here, then I'll keep fiddling with it till we make sure that it's, it doesn't have to be real long, but let's put it across here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll need another one in a minute. I just want to make sure. It doesn't have to be beautiful. This is certainly not beautiful, but it has to be effective in that we want no air to get to that cold piece of cloth. If you like snug. Oh, I said that we are going to sleep with. We're not going to go yes. out with. <laughs> yes, you're going to sleep with it, generally speaking. Uh, if, if you want to wear it around, if you're in the house and you want to wear it around as you do your daily mm -hmm. chores, you can do that too. But mm -hmm. generally, we suggest that people go to bed with this, sleep with this. And uh, how's it feeling? Does it still feel cold? Try. A little bit. So it's already starting to, to warm up, and that's what, uh, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show you something then that we can do to other body parts, like the chest, for instance. Mm -hmm. We can start with a, like a t-shirt without sleeves, something like this. And we can dip it in the cold water the same way, make sure we wring it out. And then the person can just put it on. And some people like to use some plastic to keep um, the body from getting cold. Mm -hmm. So you can use something simple like a garbage bag. Depending on the size of your person, you can choose the size of your bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just cut a, a hole for the head and holes on the side for the arms. And then put a sweater or something very warm. Uh, some people like to put two sweaters to make sure that there's no air coming in. And then go to bed. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, this should be dry. It should be nice and dry. And uh, how we end the, the treatment then for you, mm -hmm. we would have you uh, take a cold cloth in the morning and, and wet it and just wipe it around your neck, dry your neck, and mm -hmm. uh, you'd be off for the day. 
or you can take a cool down shower. Mm -hmm. uh, same with the, the chest. And for the abdomen, we would um, put the, the dry cloth on a bed, and then we put the wet cloth over it and have the person actually lie down. Because what we want, we want that compress to come all the way around the abdomen. Mm -hmm. It should find out where the hip bones are, and it should be a little bit lower than that, and up to the ribs. That's kind of the area that we want, so you can mm -hmm. measure the person. Make sure your cloth is sufficient to go around, and also <coughs> wide, enough. The wide enough to cover the area. And so lay them down and then bring it to the front, overlap it, and then tape it or whatever you're going to do. And they're already in bed. Mm -hmm. So there they are. Now, how about the feet? And we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, joints, but let's do the feet. If you take just some thin socks like these, and you dip it into cold water, mm -hmm. wring them out well, put them on your feet, and then cover them with some nice thick wool socks, mm -hmm. and then go to bed. That gives you the uh, experience of like having a hot foot bath, only you're in bed, and mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about having a sheet around you because you're mm -hmm. already in bed and your sheet is already around you. For a joint, for instance, just like we have this around your neck, we can do it around the elbow, same way. Mm -hmm. You can have it a little bit wider mm -hmm. than what to we move, did for yeah. your neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, uh, you should be able to move a little bit, but again, uh, secure the ends so that uh, you have good oh, circulation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that um, the air doesn't get into the cold cloth. Mm -hmm. Because if you have air coming in, that can make it colder mm -hmm. and then you're you're not helping uh, the treatment to be effective. Mm -hmm. So how about if we use poultices? Because we can mm -hmm. use poultices. Uh, in another episode we talk about poultices. Mm -hmm. So instead of the cold cloth you can use a poultice. Now we've talked about charcoal poultice but we can also use the other poultices that we talked about like potato poultice or um, a cabbage poultice mm -hmm. but I like to use the charcoal poultice because it's so effective and if mm -hmm. we have it uh, we can use it same with the abdomen mm -hmm. we can use uh, a poultice <coughs> there instead of the cold cloth and it's also very effective because it not only uh, can uh, bring congestion mm -hmm. away from the air the organs that are under that area but it can also draw out poisons. Mm -hmm. And that's very important if we have, um, say, food poisoning or anything mm -hmm. like that that involves our stomach and our bowel, it can be helpful for that. So, as we know, if the food is a job or the food is required from it, the food is made in the food is sweet. So, with any kind of food, we can see the change in the food, but with the food, how can we know? Well, uh, the way you feel is one yeah, way. Yeah, keep come on. <laughs> and another way is, uh, I mentioned this uh, to you earlier, yeah. and it's, it's quite amazing, but some people who actually need to have their kidneys cleaned uh, mm -hmm. by a machine, mm -hmm. hemodialysis, uh, if you put that poultice of, of charcoal around their kidney area mm -hmm. all night, in the morning, it smells like urine, so you know that it's actually cleansing mm -hmm. uh, that area. And so some people have found it's been very helpful to people who have kidney issues. That's true. Because, uh, and not only say yeah. it's not a problem with the kidney, but say you had hepatitis, mm -hmm. uh, acute hepatitis um, A or B, Mm -hmm. It can really help uh, the liver, you know, mm -hmm. put it over the liver, and it can really, uh, again, uh, help with that. Mm -hmm. The feet. Uh, it's an excellent poultice to put on the feet. Uh, mm -hmm. Any of those, but uh, let's, we've been talking about charcoal. Mm -hmm. So uh, a charcoal poultice on the feet. You can put the poultice on, and then I would use two socks like we're doing mm -hmm. here. Uh, after the plastic, I would put on the thin socks, mm -hmm. and then I would put on the wool socks because heating the compress um, 
hopefully you start out with a warm charcoal poultice, mm -hmm. but heating the poultice or keeping it warm, it makes it actually more effective. Mm -hmm. And your feet, remember we talked about how it draws congestion away from the head even for headaches, uh, migraines, um, sinus problems, uh, you can't breathe at night, it helps with that. Uh, chest congestion, abdominal congestion, pelvic congestion. Mm -hmm. All of that, if you're using that for the feet because it's warm and it's a drawing power from from the charcoal. So that's kind of a, a double uh, wonderful mm -hmm. thing that you're doing for yourself. So using a poultice instead of the, the, the wet cloth is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I want to just check, how you doing? How you doing? It feels warm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what we want. In other words, she doesn't need, you don't need a, a dry cloth. It, you're mm -hmm. warming up very nicely. And that's what we mm -hmm. want to check. Mm -hmm. We want to check for sure, is it warming up in mm -hmm. just a few minutes? And if it is, fine. We can put that person to bed and know that it's going to be efficacious for, mm -hmm. for bringing the blood and healing the area. And in the morning, You, I think you've had experience with having one yeah, of those around the neck. Yeah, I was like that. It's a weird thing to put a tree or a tree on a place where I already feel it's a tree and it's a tree and it's a tree. But it's a good result. And I've used it many times myself for sore throat. Uh, it just feels a scratchy and it's like, oh, I'm coming down with something. What is it? Mm -hmm. And you just put on that at night and in the morning your sore throat is gone. You feel fine and you go on mm -hmm. and it, it like cuts the cold in the middle so you don't you don't get the, the effects it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very efficacious, all of these things. So easy to do, so simple. Doesn't take rocket science to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> How we end this? Treatment? Yes, and like I mentioned before, we want to end with cold. Mm -hmm. You can either take a cool down shower mm -hmm. or just take, if you're uh, ready to go on with your day, just take a cold, Mm -hmm. Rag, dip it in the cold water and, and mm -hmm. wipe your neck with the cold and mm -hmm. then dry it well or any body part, make sure it's dried well. Mm -hmm. If the person is bedridden, you're going to leave them in bed. Make sure they get cold on the, all of the area that's been heated, mm -hmm. dry them well and then cover them up again and keep them warm. So mm -hmm. that's how we end the treatment. ممتاز شكرا ليكي كتير آه وهنا احبائنا المشاهدين بتنتهي بيكم حلقتنا النهارده مع التدريب البسيط ان احنا ممكن ندفي انفسنا او نعالج اي الم موجود في جسمنا او في مفاصلنا بميه ساقعه وبس نتاكد انه آه مقفول المكان من ما فيش هواء يدخل عليه يأذينا او يحسسنا بالبروده اكتر والموضوع في منتهى البساطه وانا فعلا حسيت انه ابتدت تدفى في اقل من يمكن 10 دقائق آه خلال حلقتنا فاكيد هي هتكون آه لو جربتوها في البيت في خلال الليل هتقدروا تشوفوا قد ايه هي نشفت الصبح وكانت آه عملت المطلوب او المرجو منها واتمنى تجربوها في البيت وتقولوا لنا على ارائكم وايه آه اللي جربتوه وايه اللي حصل معاكم وان شاء الله تتابعونا على الايميل اللي قدامكم بيظهر دلوقتي على الشاشه وتقولوا لنا على استفسارات ثانيه او على ارائكم من تجربتكم مع العلاج بالميه البارده. مبسوطين ان كنتوا معانا النهارده في الحلقه ونحب نشوفكم في حلقات جايه ان شاء الله. <تصفيق>